Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hunt, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion. Your host, the Hunter, welcome back to the Baseball Hunt. Hope you like this video and hit that subscribe button. We got so much stuff going on. That's nothing to do with this video. You wouldn't believe it. But let me get into what's going on in this video, because that's why you're here to watch. And you need to hit that subscribe button. Uh, some really nice things and a sad thing that happened today. And we're going to talk about at the end of this video. But first off, I have a rumor for you. Uh, according to Robin Murray, of I guess fan sided, he is reporting. Well, not reporting, but he discussed in a, in a, in a, on a YouTube channel that uh, Jorge Soler has a very interesting um, market on him, and he is a designated hitter slash outfielder. Uh, and that seems that the Mets have interest in him. He didn't seem too like enthusiastic about the Mets signing with him, uh, signing him, or really any team yet. But he did mention the Mets in this live stream. Uh, I have a whole bunch of names here that I've read and come across over the last two months. Uh, but Mets certainly could use a bat. Uh, he had 30, 36 home runs last year for the Marlins. He's got 170 home runs in his career. He's led the league in home runs. He, you know, he led all baseball in home runs in nineteen and 2020, 2022, 2021 with 48 home runs. So he's hit a lot of home runs. 170 in his career. The Mets could certainly use the number five hitter. Now, the numbers he was talking about, they're saying that he'll probably get less than Teo Scar Hernandez has get, got from the Dodgers. He got two years, 28 million. Uh, according to what he was saying, uh, I'll give you the names of the teams I've heard him, him involved with San Francisco, Seattle, the Mets, the Angels, Boston, Cleveland, Toronto, and Arizona's popped up of recent note. I don't know how hot, hot this market is. But the numbers that he was spouting out are uh, probably something in the neighborhood of two years, 22 million, or one year, 13 million, 14 million, 12 million. Um, the Mets have, that what was reported is the Mets have about $10 million to spend left. That's according to little Andy Martino. Um, I know they're looking at a reliever, a lefty reliever. I would mention that Brent Suter, who was uh, a player, a pitcher of interest to the Mets, He's off the board. He's signed with the Reds. Uh, another pitcher that's out there, Wandy Peralta, who uh, should be of interest, I think. Uh, they have talked to him. But they have to get payroll off of this. First of all, they have to... Uh, they have 40 men on the roster, okay? And they have to be... And they have not announced uh, Sean Manaya on this roster yet. So they have 40 men, 40 men on the roster... One man that needs to come on the roster, someone has to go off. And uh, he would be uh, somebody, somebody's going to have to go. So that is something we need to keep an eye on, uh, at least in the near future. But Soler would certainly help them. I mean, people have been writing to me, asking me about him. Um, I would have problems signing him. He's a power hitter. And Mets need, need some more pop in this lineup. And need protection with Pete Alonso. You put a guy that has any kind of Thump behind Pete. Pete will have 50 home runs again. He had no thump behind him last year, and he had, still had 40 home runs. He had nobody behind him last year, to be honest with you. A um, little sad news. Uh, legendary shortstop in the Mets, uh, Buddy Harrelson, passed away. Uh, he was dealing with Alzheimer's, and, and he passed today, uh, sadly. Uh, he was Mets manager as well. Uh, he was on the 69 Mets as a player. He was the shortstop. And he was the third base coach on the 86 team. Whenever you see the clips of somebody running by, by with uh, Ray Knight going home, that's that's Buddy. And obviously he was the manager for a year and a half with the Mets. Um, won 91 games his first year and then wasn't so good the second year. But that's because they lost Daryl and, and, and Doc got hurt at the end of the year. But a little new, a little sort of kerfuffle that happened last night on X Twitter. It seemed that... Uh, Sal Licata, also known as Spaz Licata, had done a, 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 a you know a segment in his program on Wednesday, saying that Peter Alonso doesn't want to be with the Mets. He wants to get he wants to be with the Cubs, and then he wants to be with the Yankees. Well, there is a story by the Athletics saying that that is not the case. That he wants to be with the Mets and that the Mets want him, but that this is probably going to play out to the end of the year. That Pete will be with the Mets all year. And that they'll come to some kind of uh, agreement or non-agreement after the season. But 
Spaz had a spaz out because the YouTuber uh, Morty and and NYM uh, confronted him, and right before Morty would have gone on to his own live stream, I uh, just sort of saying, "Well, where are your sources that says that Pete wants to be with the Cubs?" And Spaz told him, "Well, when he grows up, he'll understand." Now your host. And Wardy have been at odds here and there, but I look at it as we're competitors. But this was outside of our realm of YouTube. This was out on other platform. I came to his defense. Uh, he's following me now because I guess he liked what I had to say. I'm following him. So we're getting along. So if you're a big Wardy fan and you come in here watching the video, everything's good now, I think. Um, he was very professional handling the situation with Spaz. I, on the other hand, did a video on Spaz on the Baseball Hut 2, which I'll put a link in the description of this video. You need to watch it. It's pretty good. Got a lot of views on it, and I did a great job with it, I think. And I came across good. I came across, uh, I mean, I made Spaz look about as bad as he deserves to look. Um, again, about WFAN and the media in general. Uh, they make the Mets look like they can't do anything right, and when they do it right, it's wrong. So that's the attitude. I would mention, I did not mention in the video that Sal Akata is also a host on SNY, which is the Mets Network. He would never say the things that he says about Peter Alonzo that he has said over the last year or so. They would get him, he would get fired. People would be screaming about him losing his job. He would never say, he would never wear a paper bag on his head on the programs that he, that he goes on. So, but that was a fun video. And really, it was a fun interaction because then after this whole thing happened, Spaz decided to delete all the, the comments that he left, Wardy, for the whole world to see. But, you know, when you post stuff, it's out there forever because people will take those those screen caps, the screen captures, and you're, you're toast. Well, you let me know what you think about this video. Of course, hit the subscribe button. It's, I'm not a reporter. I want to make this very clear. I'm not a reporter. I'm more of an entertainer. That's why I, I sort of say what I want to say about the players and everything else. So thank you for watching this video. And, of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut, and I'll see you later.